new developments are coming out of a death investigation in the small community of Campbellsville. We have now learned Josiah Kilman and Charles Escalera were both on the Campbellsville University wrestling team. According to the Taylor County Coroner, Kilman was strangled, and police say they have charged Escalera with murder. Mr. Kilman's body was transported to the state medical examiner's office in Louisville for an autopsy. Uh, that uh, preliminary results from that did uh, return, and um, they are showing that the cause of death was uh, asphyxiation by manual strangulation. Um, and at this point in time, the investigation is still ongoing. Saturday afternoon, police released an arrest warrant for Escalera after their investigation ruled Kilman's death suspicious. Our office obviously was notified, and uh, it was through the investigation that uh, we deemed the death suspicious. Um, at, a little bit later on, uh, we released to the public that we were looking for a person of interest uh, due to um, uh, findings through the investigation. Police say Escalera was located in Greene County after a farmer saw him in a barn. Obviously, this is a small town um, and a lot of people know each other. Campbell University is a huge staple in our community, um, a good Christian college. And so uh, people obviously have been extremely shocked and saddened. Cook, who was a former student at Campbellsville, remembered moments where college students passed away but he couldn't recall police charging a student for murder. You know, one of the most challenging things about being in, in this line of work is we see a lot of death. And we see, obviously, uh, life taken from everyone, from infants all the way to um, elderly adults. And life is always valuable and life is always important at any age. Um, it's always more challenging when you see life taken from a younger individual because you know they have so much ahead of them. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.